as health and government officials urge people to limit the size of gatherings and practice that social distancing. They say the aim isn't to stop the spread of coronavirus, but rather to flatten the curve by slowing the spread so our health care system won't be overwhelmed. Joining us by phone to talk about that is National University epidemiologist Dr. Tyler Smith. Good morning, Dr. Smith. Hello, Ms. Cha. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So, Dr. Smith, can you explain for people what flattening the curve really means and what it does and whether you think we're doing enough to flatten it enough? Well, well first, the, the idea of social distancing is, is a, perhaps confusing to some, but that's the term that epidemiologists use to minimize community spread of disease. The flattening of the curve is, is what we desire from that social distancing. Um, measures such as limiting large groups of people coming together, close, closing buildings, canceling events, all of what you're seeing in San Diego County and across, our, across the U.S. is happening to try to help with that social distancing and minimizing the epidemic curve. The epidemic curve is something that if it spikes quickly, like what we're seeing in Italy and other countries, it, it has the potential to overwhelm our healthcare system. So everything we're doing as far as closing schools, uh, stop the sporting events, uh, even Little League canceling. Um, many of our, our universities are going online, and you went online uh, completely in, in about a one-week period. All this is designed to limit that community spread, spread it out over over a longer period of time so that our, our uh, epidemic curve or our spike doesn't happen and that, um, that we can have these cases over a longer period of time versus in a very short amount of time where our systems might be over, overburdened. And do you think we're doing enough? Well, th this public health uh, response is unprecedented. And, uh, you know, time will tell if we've done enough, but I think we were able to see what was happening in other countries early enough that, uh, that teams were, were being built uh, well before there was any sort of a foothold of an epidemic here in the U.S. And so I am hopeful that what we did was perhaps the best we can do. Obviously, there are a lot of uh, businesses and and uh, public that, that don't agree with this approach. But um, again, all, all designed so that we don't have a massive amount of cases hitting our, our uh, system at the same time and, and trying to, to use the resources, the, the limited resources available. Dr. Smith, some people are saying that millennials, the younger generation, is that they're really key in helping slow the spread. Do you agree with that? And, and uh, can you explain to people what they're talking about? Well, the idea is that the younger individuals, uh, they don't appear to have the same uh, response that, that older individuals are immunosuppressed or individuals that, um, that have chronic disease have. So they, uh, they, they may not be getting that, that same intense case that you might see in these other populations, but they're, they're definitely a group that could be carriers. Um, so what, they're, what, what they need to be doing is limiting contact, uh, not necessarily to keep themselves healthy, although that, that is one, one component, but also to keep the population healthy or people around them that might, might have adverse uh, experiences with, with this um, exposure. Yes, absolutely. So they, they need to be mindful that even though they may just shake it off pretty easily, they could actually infect somebody else who doesn't. Dr. Smith, thank exactly. you so much for taking some time to talk to us today. We really appreciate it. All right, thank you.